up, MF? First, hope you guys are having an amazing freaking day. Back here in the Kansas with Brian. Um, we woke up way too early. It is 2 o'clock in the morning. You might wonder what the hell we're doing at 2 o'clock in the morning. We're doing something that I've always heard about is absolutely amazing. Something I've wanted to do for a very, very long time. And that is, it is early, early spring, really cold outside, um, and at this time of the year, and what is it, it's mid-March right now, mid-March into early April, the big nasty female walleyes, and I guess all walleyes move up to spawn, and so they move up to shallow rocky areas, and they feed in the middle of the night, that's about the only time you can catch them, and so we are crazy enough that we are driving like an hour and a half into the misery to go catch some freaking walleye. And we're doing it from a spillway. I know a lot of you guys like the spillway videos, so hopefully we'll be able to actually make some fish happen. It's kind of like on a whim. My buddy RJ invited us down. He's like, dude, I'm on an insane bite, catching some walleye up to like seven or eight pounds and catching a bunch of walleye every night. But the bite is only from like three in the morning until six in the morning when the sun comes up and a little bit before the sun comes up, so. We're, we're on our way right now. Just had, had a little bit of an issue. The, uh, the the truck wouldn't start, but we got her started up, so we're getting ready to go. Tucker's losing his damn mind because he's excited to see us. Um, but yeah, we, we gotta get out of here. We're, the hot bite is in the middle of the night, and so this is gonna be an exciting video. Come on, this is gonna be time. Let's do it. Dude, we are in fact really doing it. We're gonna give her a send down this hill right here. See if we can fall in the river. We, we figured it out. Brian, this is RJ, RJ Brian. The old secret RJ rig. <laughs> <laughs> up top on top of the wall, too. If you have a light, you can turn the corner and just stack it. What, like right there? No, up top. Oh. You can go up there and cast down? Oh, yeah. <laughs> or like in, in the tubes right there, like right outside of it. Get real quick. Fuck yeah, let's do it. Says you can see the wall heads up here at the spilling way. That's a John. How do you like? How do you haul one up? I guess we figure that out when we get there, don't we? I guess you just. 12 pound line, pull them on up. Seems like a good idea. Swimming bait. Any fish? What's that? Did you? I don't understand how I'm gonna get it in. No shit. Little eater guy. Hell yeah, man. Maybe. <laughs> Dude. You First bet. <laughs> Fat guy. Strong work on the swim bait. Oh yeah. All right, I'm Big going time. back to the swim bait. <laughs> Dandy, look at his starchy dorsal. Dude, for real. All right. Walleyes, huh? Holy shit, they are super thick. Chunks, man. Doubled up. I suppose I'll go back to fishing now. Count as a double. Beautiful. There we go. Finally. Right in front of me. About damn time. The old wall head. Eater wall head. We're out of here. See ya. <laughs> On the blade? Or swim bait? Uh, swim bait. Finally. Be throwing like a big swim bait, like a six inch one or anything? I haven't tried. I, I think it's one of those deals, man. Like Dude, they're eating little stuff, I think. Well, I think those it's easy goes. shiners are perfect. Yeah. Saturday, I caught a seven or six. Yeah, that's awesome. How long was that? Yeah, 25 and a half. Yeah. It was 16 inches around though. Yeah. Jesus. All right. Figured it out now. Yeah, it seems like things are definitely picking up, guys. This is what I'm uh, I'm throwing. 
just a little, I think it's a 3.3, it might be a 3.8, but I think it's a 3.3 Kitek. It's heavier though, and I'm using this Okashira Mega Bass screw head. The reason I'm using this guy instead of my 6 cents ones is I don't even have one light enough. This is like a 16th ounce head. This rock here is really, really shallow, so this kind of just glides over the top. We're just kind of lifting and falling, which I totally just watched RJ do. So I started copying him because he's caught like six, seven, eight, a hundred. God dang it. Who is this guy? As soon as I get up to leave. Get the magic spot over here. Secret lures, magic spots, $7,000 rod. The old redhead. Uh, yeah. Redhead. Easy shiner. I'm going to go catch Doc. Maybe. Hard maybe. Well, I've only caught one. Brian's only caught one. RJ's been smacking them all freaking night. We're gonna go back up the wall. And he claims you can catch them. And he has caught them up to like six to eight pounders straight down off the wall. The only problem is we're gonna have to haul them like 20 foot up an embankment, which will be pretty interesting. Let's see if we can catch one. Okay. Got the old blade guy. This is gonna be interesting. Oh yeah. Okay. Oh, no, I had one. You guys have no idea, but I had one. And then my lure, my blade kerchowed all the way back through the fence here. All right. All right, this is the thing. We're gonna catch one. Without wearing them out. Yeah, that's a uh, that's a better species. Good one, dude. Chunk one. Damn it! You and your sneaky red heads. <laughs> that one, huh? Well, I'm actually throwing one of these. This one's got a little better hook on it. Yeah, no doubt. It's those must that's, that's what I had the guy make. Yeah, I'm yeah. throwing one of these, but you can throw whatever. Got you. I'll I try this. I guess. Like See what it looks like. Yeah. All right. Thank you, sir. Are you shitting me? It's like he's done it before. Once or twice. It's a pretty good size one. Freaking fatty, dude. Choked it. Bait is gone. All the way down the throat. Well, thanks for the bait, RJ. Now I know what to bring next time. Well, Mephers, I, I have two emotions right now. One's frustration and one is uh, one is happiness. The reason for the frustration is I um, had some pretty major GoPro camera issues this morning. Some memory card issues that I didn't freaking realize until I got back here to the house. So I just figured that out. Um, so I don't know if anything even filmed from the entire video. Hopefully some of it was on, on film. But uh, yeah, check out this freaking haul that Mr. Brian and RJ and I got. Right there, we're freaking jacked. We're gonna fillet these guys up. Okay. Yep. Yeah. That's the right kind. Deal. Every single thing that we caught today was on just a little four inch swim bait on a ball head jig. Again, I told you guys that on the water. I'm not sure if that footage made it or is gonna be existing. But yeah, that was it. Just letting it slowly drift down the current, kind of letting that, that jig head bounce along. RJ showed us exactly what to do because he was freaking dialed. Um, that's about the only way they would bite. So uh, next step, I guess, is to get these guys flooded up. Um, didn't catch any mega giants. I think the biggest one in here is probably about three and a half to four pounds um, at biggest. And then the smallest one's probably 16 to 17 inches. These are going to be delicious. So Brian's got some exciting recipes for us too. I think we're going to take them home uh, and cook them up with Brian's recipes because i got to get back on the road to Nebraska. Way. Apparently I'm driving like 72 hours today. 72 hours in one 24 hour day. That's impressive, yeah, man. That's weird. Not many people can do that. But uh, yeah, let's get these guys cleaned up. That's all eggs and fat. Mm -hmm. This is what you're telling me about. This is the, the wing. Yeah, dude. Most people, obviously, like, we'll tr I try and get the cheeks. Like, you really have to have, like, some really nice size wads to get the cheeks. And I don't keep them up to that big, but what you can always get is the wings. And this part of the meat right down there is, like, the most white, flaky, sweet meat ever. And so they're walleye wings. So you can fry them up just like chicken wings and toss them in buffalo sauce, and they're super good. So I'm going to cut those out for you. Dude, that's the deal, huh? 
and you just fry it up with the skin on and everything and the fins and eat the fins like potato chips and it's just dandy. <laughs> what? Yeah. What? In one piece or do you cut it in half? No, just one piece. Dude, check what we're having for breakfast. Walleye wings! Initial thoughts? Questionable? Obviously back at the house. Now, we got our walleye wings laid out because I have the most badass family. I'm, I'm a little bit biased probably, but Miss Melican Fishing and the Dab Master are both here. Uh, and they decided we should have some walleye wings for breakfast. Fish for breakfast is one of the best things in the history of the world, so that's exactly what we're doing. We're, we're a couple days back now from when we shot this video. Amazing, amazing time, and we got the oil heating up. I'll show you exactly what we're using. But while the oil heats up, I want to let you guys know, freaking RJ whooped our ass. Obviously, he knew exactly where to cast the exact presentation, but that 4-inch Kitek Easy Shiner is not a freaking joke. If you're anywhere around the country right now where the walleye are moving up to spawn and spillways, dams, whatever, that bait's going to be an absolute killer. I just bought a whole bunch. I stocked up after RJ whooped us. I'll drop a link right down below to those if you guys have any walleyes in your area. But yeah, check out these wings. I'm super jacked about that. Brian told me about those. He filleted them up. Um... Clean them up, I guess. This this is the walleye wing. They've been sitting in like a, a saltwater brine for a few days, so I'm super jacked about that. We're gonna go from there into the milk, and then into this guy right here, which is perfect for this recipe. We feel like since we're having wings, shore lunch buffalo style, and then we got some oil heating up, of course. Gonna be doing like a full on deep fat fry, which is a little bit different than uh, our usual. Um, frying situation, which I, I like to use just a little shallow puddle of oil, but since these need to be completely submerged We're gonna do that maybe toss them in some buffalo sauce, too I'm super freaking anxious. So I've heard about walleye wings and other fish species wings Brian said people even have them do crappie wings when he's guiding um, So yeah, this this is gonna be an interesting recipe definitely want to stick around to see how I like them how the family likes them here in a little bit So we go into the milk all the way in. I actually just gave these guys one last rinse too to get all the slime cut off of them. That's one thing that's different with these than most fillets. You're definitely going to have to uh, get all that nasty slime coat since you are using their skin. But it came off pretty easy. Also want to make sure we're completely coated in this batter mix. Brian said that the fins are actually really, really good. So we're going to get a couple of these guys ready and then we're going to dump them in that oil. Alright, here we go. Mmm. What do you think about that? It looks like a crab, sort of. It does kind of look like a crab. It looks like a bird. Like a <laughs> quail. Yeah. What do you think? I think it's a quails. Not sure. <laughs> so I got ranch, blue cheese, barbecue sauce, Frank's. Blue cheese. What do you think about these, Mom? Delicious? Nutritious? You have to eat the, the wingies, right? You eat all of it, except there's bones in there, so you pick those off. But you're supposed to eat these guys, the fins, like potato fins. chips. That's what I meant. Fins, got it, check. Mmm. Those are good. Thoughts? Fins, good? Weird. Never eaten a fin before. It's gotta be full of protein. Those are pretty good. I'll take it. Mom, the meat? It's delicious. I'm doing it. Oh, yeah, that's some crazy, beautiful whiteness in there. That looks good. Guys, the freaking walleye wings were absolutely delicious. Strongly, strongly recommend. We, once we got the white meat, I don't want to film the whole thing. I think it's kind of weird sitting there with my family eating in front of you guys. But the white meat was, uh, it kind of had the texture of crab meat. We thought it tasted, it had the, the texture and kind of the flavor of crab meat. So definitely a part of a fish, of a walleye especially, that you guys do not want to waste and try it with other fish species as well. It's always good to experiment, of course. But yeah, hopefully you guys like this video. Let me know in the comments down below if you guys want to see more walleye fishing videos. I have an exciting idea planned in my head, but I want to know if you guys like the walleye fishing videos before uh, we make the time and, and money commitment to it too, because it's going to be 
kind of a giant trip if so but yeah let me know down below and of course go hit the subscribe button if you want to see more fishing videos every single day of your entire freaking life hope you guys are having a great sunday and i'll catch you guys very very soon i'm out of here peace. i'm not sorry i can't help this love like mine <laughs> <laughs> i'm not sorry i can't stop with a love like mine i can't stop with a love